time in New York City in the year 1903. In the candy shop of Russian immigrants Morris Mitchum and his wife. Hello, Mr. Burtz. What would you like? I'll have one of your marshmallow Statue of Liberties. My little ones are crazy about them. An excellent choice. This marshmallow is really tasty. <laughs> Whoop! Mm -hmm. uh, well, there's our President Theodore Roosevelt. Yesterday, our great president made a fine speech in Louisiana. Oh, what the papers don't say is that our great president, Teddy, is much more interested in bear hunting than making speeches. <laughs> Mudslinger. Bear hunting in the wilds of Louisiana? Let's go! That's President Theodore Roosevelt, Teddy, to his friends. Now, Governor, are you absolutely sure that there are bears around here? I'm absolutely certain, Mr. President. Look. This here anthill was dug out by a brown bear, Mr. President. Well, in that case, call me Teddy. Well, let's follow the tracks, Mr. Uh, Teddy. Teddy, there. That's enough. Let's go. Mr. President, a photograph? What for? You can see for yourself we didn't get any bears. My gun, Teddy, we can't let you leave Louisiana without getting a bear. Here, it's loaded and ready. Mr. Governor, if I kill that defenseless bear, I can never look my children in the face again. Bravo! Whoa, whoa. Louisiana really wore me out. I'm tired of you spreading your rags all over the table. Now you know that I need room to work, dear. When we're rich, you're going to have a great big room just for your sewing. You and your silly dreams. Silly maybe, but I'm not going to sell candy for the rest of my life. Get your Washington Post exclusive. Refuses to kill bear in Louisiana. Get your post. Thanks, Mr. Mitchum. Get your Washington Post exclusive. Roosevelt refuses to kill bear. What's that thing, Daddy? It's a little bear, son. I want one. You know, bears are wild animals. They can be very dangerous and mean. Yes, but I want a nice one like the President's to play with. I'll show you a little blankie, darling. I've got an idea. <laughs> Why not try to sew him a little bear to play with? It's funny how often good ideas come out of next to nothing. I love you and I'll keep you forever. This bear is wonderful, my dear. We need to make lots and lots of them. I'm certain people would love these cute little... Uh, we've got to find a good name. Daddy! Daddy! Hmm. Come in. Here's your mail, Mr. President. This is a cloth bear fabricated by a New York merchant. He'd like to offer you this one and asks your permission to call it Teddy in your honor for having saved that little bear in Louisiana. Why, it's adorable. Ta-da! Suspense. Will Teddy agree? 
Tell him I don't see any problem with that. Wow, nicely organized, Mrs. Mitchum. Louise, Louise, we did it. The president said yes. Oh, Morris, that's wonderful. Yippee! Whoa. I christen you Teddy Bear. And that's how the Teddy Bear got its name. Incredible. What success. People have lined up all morning. That's the last one you have? Yes, but if you want a different size, you can fill out this order form. I need five of the big ones for my precious little girls. Famous teddy bear. Later you'll be stuffed instead of made of cloth. But through you, children will find a loving lifelong friend. And Morris Mitchum realized his dream, making a fortune in America.